I'm Beth Fisher. Right now on your 13 Action News update, an arrest has been made in the tragic murder of an Air Force veteran who was found after a fire in her Henderson apartment. The victim's daughter says the man police arrested used to help her 84-year-old mother carry her groceries. I want him to fry. I want him to pay and feel exactly how scared my mom was. Daylin says she always suspected the killer was a familiar face. She'd never spoken to the suspect, but she was relieved when police called her to let her know he had been arrested. A lady who stole money out of a tip jar from a local restaurant tried to pull the same trick twice. We showed you this lady yesterday. She asked for water and when they went to grab her cup, she reached her hand into the tip jar. Well, this is her the second time around. This time they didn't fall for it though and police were called. Neighborhoods in the Northwest transformed into rivers during last night's storms. It happens every monsoon for those living near Durango and the 215 and one man says he's had enough. For a couple of days afterwards, the street will be a complete disaster until they come and uh, clean it. Daniel Rosenbaum says it gets bad like this every year, and sometimes he and other neighbors can't leave their homes for work. After the water subsides, thick mud is left behind, leaving them stuck. Daniel says while he and others have purchased flood insurance, they hope the city will take a closer look at drains in the area. Well, outside today, the monsoon rain once again could continue in the city. Temperatures getting up to about 107. So I think in the afternoon, early afternoon uh, with the heat, we could see some mountain storms around. I think after one, two o'clock, we may see one or two storms push through the city. About a 20% chance of that happening. It's still going to be hot and humid through your day. Now, the good news is as we go into your weekend, our monsoon storm chances coming down. Temperatures, though, are going up big time next week. All right, thanks so much. You can always get the latest news at KTNV.com or on our mobile app. Have a great Friday, everyone.